Well, this project started out as one of the easiest projects a handyman can do, and it quickly escalated. So the original project was to replace this outlet. You can see uh, right there, the plastic is broke out of that ground, and same with this one. And what it was doing is it just wasn't retaining the plug end that you were putting it, that the, the lady's putting in here, kept falling out. So I said, oh, piece of cake. Well, it's not. Uh, this is wired up as a switched neutral. So this is directly connected to these wires. It all goes in junctions up in there. And back in the 40s, they weren't switching the hot. They were switching the neutrals. And, well, that's just not the best way to do it, especially when you don't have a dedicated ground in these old houses. So when you're switching the neutral, you're taking away one of the safety routes back to the panel. So what I'm gonna do is trace this up the wall into the attic and try to find where the hot and the neutral are tapped into the system and switch them so that the neutral will now become the hot and the hot will now become the neutral and I won't have to reroute everything into this switch over here and we will have a switched hot and a standard neutral. place bets if I fall through the ceiling. I'm trying to line my footsteps up with these rafters but there's so much of this insulation that I can't really even feel them with my feet or I'm just trying to peel it back so I can find them. All right hopefully you can hear me through the mask. I'm over the bathroom and man I had to peel back a ton of insulation. I got my work cut out for me putting all this crap back. But um, let me try to explain how I found everything. This here would be your, your main vent for your sewage system. So the toilet has to be within a certain distance of your main stack. And in fact, the toilet is right there. This vent pipe here is for the shower, I believe and this one here goes down to the sink this goes over drops down for the shower drain so i know that my light fixture is right here piece of cake this is the uh the hot and the switched neutral that supplies the uh the light what it does is it jumps up and over and goes into this light here this is in the closet right behind the, uh, the bathroom. So this here comes in this way. And this one here, this is the, uh, the switched neutral that goes all the way over, comes all the way over and goes down the wall to the switch. You see on? So what I'm going to do is make a mental note of this electrical box that's in the closet that this one here goes to the light this one here goes to the switch and the power is coming in via one of these and i can figure that out with my my electrical tester from inside the closet oh feel good to stretch those legs Whew. All right, hope you guys can see this. Jesus. This. Sometimes I wonder what I get myself into. Man.
really short wires. No wire nuts, just some electrical tape. Let me give you a close up on what 1941 electrical looks like. But I'll get it figured out. One thing that hasn't changed since 1941 is the black one goes to the brass and the white one or neutral goes to the chrome shiny colored one. So you know, this is our hot right here. Okay, I guess I should probably put a disclaimer in here that don't do anything that I do or do this at your own risk. But this here is the switched neutral which is now going to be the switched hot. This wire needs to go into this bundle and there's a wire in here that needs to go into this new bundle right here. It's like disarming a bomb. Okay, so when you first wire up a GFI outlet, it will be, it just comes tripped. So you have to hit the reset button and the light goes out. Now I'm going to take this outlet tester and it tests for a lot of things. It'll tell you if there's an open ground, an open neutral, open hot, uh, hot ground reversed, hot neutral reversed, or is it wired correctly? Now what we want is the two at the tip of my thumb. I don't know if this will focus, but the two lights on the right mean that it is correctly wired. So we'll put this in here. And will you look at that? We've got our two wires there. Now before, the way it was wired, I could not install a GFI outlet. It was so strange. They had the hot going to the neutral side and the neutral was then switched. But now to test to see if this GFI outlet works, push this test button and it automatically trips hit the reset button lights come back on hit the test works perfectly now I just gotta put that rat's nest back together uh, eventually I'll be putting a light bar instead of these frilly little things and that light bar will cover up both holes I probably should do that today but it's just not in this week's schedule This thing was kind of dangerous. It was. It used to be a non-GFI reverse polarity outlet where the neutral was switched in order to even turn this thing on or turn the lights on. Now we have a GFI outlet that tests proper function. The, the, the lights are also switched with the hot leg instead of the neutral leg. So we do have a full run of neutral all the way back to the panel that's not being switched all over the place. So this was the best practical solution for this project. I still have to go back to the attic and put all that insulation back. That'd be fun. But um, I'm going to show you the electrical testers that I used. This is the outlet tester. 
that tells you all the different uh, problems that you could be having with your outlets. And this is also my no touch uh, voltage tester. This is for low voltage and like 12 volts and 120 volt systems. So these are all I really use today. A link to both of these will be in the description below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below.